What's happening YouTubers? Today I'm bringing you a video showing you how you can get back into your Windows 7 operating system if you've lost or forgotten the password. So, um, to do this we will need access to another computer which has access to the internet because we're going to have to download a program which is called Offline NT Password Registry Editor. This will allow us to, to blank out the password. Um, we will also need a, a blank CD, um, some ISO burning software such as Nero, um, I will also provide a link uh, which you can download uh, a free little piece of software to do the burning. Uh, we'll then take the CD, pop it into the computer, restart and then we'll go through the actual uh, sequence to, to, to resetting the password or blanking out the password. So, uh, let me show you where you can get this software from. Okay, here's the web page. Uh, I'll provide a link below and uh, we're looking for CD110511.zip. 110511 okay, so you click that and we want to save a file. Now I've already saved it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, also, I should say it makes it easier if you just save everything to, to one folder, it just makes it easier. Uh, I've downloaded it to a folder called Reset Password. Right, so this is the same zip file I was just talking about. Uh, what we want to do, it opens up, it's a zip file, so you'll also need WinZip or WinRAR. If you don't have that, um, you can download that off the internet for free as well. Once you have that, open it up, and inside you'll see an ISO file. This is the file we're going to burn to CD. Okay. So that is now in this folder. Now, ooh, just there. Uh, you may have seen, you may have just noticed this free ISO burner. Now that's what I'll come to next. I'd already downloaded that as you can see. And this is software which you can use to, to burn images. It's here, this is the web page. And uh, be careful where you click here, there's lots of adverts. But if you just see here, it says free ISO burner download. Just click that. Give it a moment. And uh, it will come up with a window asking you to save. Uh, the good thing about that soft this software is it works with Windows 7, it also works with um, XP if you have a, a an older version as well. So uh, yeah, you just click uh, save file here and save to the folder which you're working out of. Okay, great. So we have the ISO, which is the image which we need to burn, and we also have the uh, ISO burning software. So what we'll do, double click the ISO software, just run that, and it will ask where is the ISO file you want to burn. So click open and uh, it will look in the same folder and see the ISO file. Click open. Okay. Ooh, put this back. Uh, down at the bottom left you have burn. So you burn the CD. I've done one already so I'm going to just cancel that. Right, so at this point, you'll have a CD with the image burnt onto it, um, and you're ready to reset the password. Okay, so now we want to be back at the afflicted PC or laptop with the CD. Uh, I've just popped mine in the drive. I did that by just turning the computer on, uh, quickly popping the CD in and turning it off straight away. So it didn't boot to Windows. We want it to boot off the CD. Um, so when I turn it on now, it's going to boot from the CD. If when you try it and you turn it on, it doesn't boot from the CD, it tries to go back into, the win back into Windows. Power off. Start again, and just as it's starting, rapidly press the F12 key, and that will bring you to boot options. When you're in boot options, you can use the up and down arrow to select boot from CD-ROM. Okay, and you may want to change that back afterwards, but just 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 uh, be aware that that's something you may need to do. Right, so we are ready to boot from the CD. So I'm going to just turn the power button on. Uh, the beauty of this little uh, program is it's very, very easy to use. It, it looks tricky because there's lots of text, but ultimately you just have to press once, uh, the user ID, uh, exclamation, just little, little things. So it's not hard. Okay, so this first thing we have to do is just flashes by boot, and we just press enter. It's loads some files. 
Okay, first thing it asks us is which disk uh, is Windows installed on, right? So mine's a 160 gig drive. You may have more than one drive listed. If you do, it's usually the larger one. You may need to check your documentation, right? But uh, for me, it's number one. So I press enter on that after pressing number one. Step two, select the path and registry files. Okay, now I've noticed I've had to just press enter continuously uh, around 14 times I think, maybe 15, but just do it one, you know, one at a time slowly and you'll eventually get to this part. It says select which part of registry to load. Uh, what we want is the password reset number one, surprisingly. I told you it was easy. Okay, now, uh, again, another question. Uh, basically, option one, edit user data and passwords. So just press one and enter. And voila, this is the sexy bit. This is where you can see the usernames. Okay, look, A, administrator, etc, etc. Now, uh, the account I use, the one I want to amend is A. So basically all you do is um, type in the username. Uh, my example is A, so shift A. Okay, enter. Right, user edit menu. Uh, number one, option one, clear blank user password. So that's what I'm going to do. So I can't remember the password, I'm just going to blank it. Wipe it. Okay, enter. Now you've done that and it's saying if you're happy, quit. So uh, to quit, you do a, an exclamation mark, which is shift and one. Shift one. Okay, and that appears just over there on the right. Hit enter. Alright, so um, it's saying now you can quit. You will be asked if there is something to save. So we hit Q for quit, enter. And step four, writing back changes. About to write files back. Do it. Y for yes. Okay, edit complete. Uh, do you want to do a new run? No, I'm happy. Got what I wanted. Okay, so this is now done. What we want to do first before before restarting is to take the CD out. Okay, I'll just click the mine, it's out. And you do a control alt delete. Now I'm gonna try and do this. Hold on one second. Okay. I've just done the control alt delete. Had to put the uh, camera down a moment.